if you appreciate elegant lines and you have an eye for classic style, you're really going to enjoy this boat. This beautiful boat is the Barbarous 33 Lobster. And in case you're wondering, the lobster has nothing to do with those delicious crustaceans we all enjoy. It's to do with this classic design which was really inspired about a hundred years ago in, uh, in Maine in the US around some of those working boats. But it takes its inspiration from those boats and you end up with these beautiful lines, these sweeping curves, sweeping bow, and it might not be for everybody. And it's not a speedboat, but if you want to have a day of elegant boating, uh, comfort, some luxury, uh, weekend away, this is the boat for you. So let's step on board and take a look exactly what makes this Barbaras 33 such a beautiful boat. Now she's 33 feet uh, with a beam of 3.2 meters and as we just step on board the first thing you'll see is this beautiful aft cockpit. Now in this configuration you can see that we've got uh, the table set as a coffee table. That of course is high low so that can be raised to make uh, a beautiful dining space, which is probably what I would do. You might have other ideas. Uh, or you could also uh, get infill cushions and make this a lovely place to catch the sun. But what a beautiful space that is. And the thing that you probably have already noticed immediately is the amount of this mahogany timber work where you might normally see uh, molded fiberglass with these beautiful boats that are handmade in Turkey, you're seeing this beautiful artisan timber work. Now, Barbaras might not be familiar to everybody. They've been making boats of this quality for 65 years. Uh, Turkey's become a real mecca for boat building, and this is a fantastic example of the real craftsmanship that goes into making a beautiful boat like this. And if I swing back, you will start to get a sense of just how elegant a lady this boat is. Have a look at those lines. That is just absolutely stunning. I'm going to move over here and talk to you about some of the amenities. Uh, in front of me is a space. Now the boat has a butane uh, cooker. So this is perfect as a weekend boat for uh, a couple. You can obviously operate this boat single-handedly, no problem. And so you want a place to cook. And that is going to be here. So you can see yourself standing here, cooking up a little bit of a dinner or breakfast or barbecue. Absolutely perfect. And the boat also has ample refrigeration here, just inside the salon. If I open this up, you can see here we've got a nice size refrigerator. Plenty of space to put everything you need for a day or a couple of nights away. I just want to pull back to show you what I'm talking about, the artisan work that goes into these boats. Have a look at the trim here on this beautiful curved line. Have a look at that. All done by hand. Nothing here is done by machine. And these windows where you might normally see a fiberglass molding, here you see this beautiful mahogany wood trim. I look, I just think these are absolutely beautiful. Um, some other things that I think add to the elegance of this boat are these beautiful curved handrails, which of course have a functional role to move around the boat, but I love the way that they follow the curve of this hard top which extends about halfway to the back of the cockpit and provides you with a nice amount of shade. Um, also, I love the way that Barbara's finish uh, the underside of the hardtop with this panelling look where you might see fiberglass some, sometimes. This has this beautiful kind of panel type appeal and I just think that's absolutely classic and beautiful. So this is a very, very, very nice aft cockpit space. Just take all of that in. Isn't that beautiful? Um, underneath the table there in front of me, you can see a hatch. That's of course uh, to access the engines. We'll talk about that in a little while. Um, but let's come inside and have a look at the amenities inside the salon. Because this really is a very comfortable, beautifully styled, 33 footer. Uh, ahead of me is a place for 
food preparation. Uh, as you'd expect for a boat like this, there is a sink with a pop-up spout like this. Very convenient. There's a place here for food preparation. These beautiful big windows. It's a sunny day here today, but there really is such an amazing amount of natural light pouring in here. Um, underneath that sink, we have cupboard space to push cupboards. And I want to show you, when I talk about the quality of these boats, that lining is solid wood. Now that might be MDF or some other cheaper material in a lesser boat, but that is solid timber, beautifully lined. And they do that, and that's soft clothes. They do that with all of the cabinetry on board. And it really does make a difference, I think, to the way this boat looks and the way that this boat feels. Um, seating inside, as I said, this really would be the perfect boat for um, two people, a couple. And so you have some seating over here, just forward of that sink where I've popped my bag. Uh, a very comfortable spot if you're underway. Good visibility out to enjoy the scenery. Uh, some storage underneath. Uh, access to control the stereo there. And to the right, if you have the pleasure of skippering this boat, you have this beautiful classic helm. Just take that in. That's stunning. Look at that beautiful classic mahogany wheel there. It is just stunning. I mean, if you like the classic thing, that sort of elegant style, I can tell that you're really going to enjoy what we're showing you here. Um, but it's not old fashioned, of course. Barbara's fit these boats uh, with all of the uh, technology and convenience that you need uh, here to control the boat safely the 12 inch ray marine of course uh, there's both stern and bow thrusters so you know controlling this boat and getting it into uh, berth uh, absolutely piece of cake over here uh, engine controls over here we'll talk about the engines in a minute but i'm going to sit on this captain's seat and oh that feels fantastic and I've got a beautiful view out over this beautiful curved piece here of this uh, timber and that that view out is absolutely spectacular have a look at geez that, it really is nice um, that paneled look inside uh, continues above me there's uh, an opening hatch here so this is very very well ventilated with the the uh, the cabin doors open uh, and this hatch open and it really does feel very light very airy a very very nice space to be in um, but of course if you are coming away for the weekend you are going to need the conveniences for a weekender and this boat really does have a beautiful little double cabin underneath so let's just scoot down in here now and I'll show you what this is all about Oh, it's very, very nice. Look, I've, I've got a good amount of headroom. I'm a uh, shade under six foot myself, and I'd say there's a good three, four, five inches above my head. So there's ample headroom in here. It's actually very, very comfortable. Um, let me just call out some of the things that I really like about this design. Uh, first is, is the old school ovular portholes. And uh, of course, with modern boats, this would be one long piece of dark uh, window trim but I really think these just give you that touch of elegance and style and class along with that panelled look uh, trim on the ceiling looks absolutely fantastic uh, another hatch above you plenty of light plenty of ventilation and have a look around at the way in which they've finished this cabin with all of this timber trim you've got these rails up here where you can pop the things that you might want to take away for the weekend that might be clothes or some some books of course these are also little rails that you can hang on to um, it's a very very comfortable double 
bed, probably a little bit bigger than a double. Um, this particular uh, Barbara set we're on today, all of the bedding has been custom made, so it fits absolutely perfectly. It just looks like such an inviting space to be in here. Um, you've probably noticed these reading lights, and again, where they might be some simple uh, halogens or you know some of those very thin profile little lights, they're fitted or getting tight. They've fitted these beautiful, kind of elegant, classic looking lights, and it just fits in perfectly with the overall aesthetic of the boat. And look, it just feels very luxurious. The leather lining here, the timber, very, very nice. Um, but look, it's also very practical. There's plenty of storage. Uh, I'll just scoot down here so you can see what I'm talking about. Storage drawers here and again finished in this beautiful solid hardwood nothing cheap about this barbarous absolutely beautiful there's a full length hanging locker here if you need to hang some clothes or is this is being used as a little bit of storage because we're displaying the boat but that's a very very nice hanging locker and of course we have an ensuite, and again, a beautifully elegant ensuite indeed. If I come in here, you can see we've got plenty of countertop for you to put some towels, whatever it might be that you want to put here. You've got a large sink. Um, this pulls out, so you can use this, of course, as a shower, so that's very, very convenient. Plenty of storage along the back here, as you can see. And of course, as you'd expect, the convenience of a toilet. Um, again, storage, beautiful solid wood doors, as you'd expect, a very, very nice ensuite indeed very comfortable with a full closing door now there's still more to see um, if you like this so far if this is uh, the classic things your thing make sure you leave a little comment in the comments area saying yes it's my thing or maybe it's not your thing maybe it's a no let me know what you think so far but let's move to the bow because there is still more to show you here there's grab rails all the way along which makes you feel very secure as we move forward you can see the really thick gauge very chunky handrails here which are about thigh height but let me just spin around and show you the boat from this angle now there's the hatch to the double berth but of course um, you can put infill cushions there and have a very very spacious uh, sun lounge for two people would be very very comfortable there or have it like this where you just want that hatch open but let's have a look at some of the working gear you can see the beautiful stainless anchor that extends out past the bow there's a huge anchor locker here I think there's about 60 meters of of anchor chain huge anchor locker you could use that for some fender storage absolutely voluminous really and in keeping with the rest of the boat just a very stylish part of the boat let's just spin around again and have one more one more look at that you can see there the search lights and equipment there on top of the roof okay Let's move back into the salon and let's talk about the business end of this boat, which is the engines. Um, this comes standard with a 240 horsepower diesel engine. Now you can uh, power up to a 350 uh, horsepower, but as it is, you would cruise comfortably in about 15, 16 knots, probably a top speed 
of about 20 knots. But this isn't about setting water speed records. This is about leisurely cruising in style, relaxing, elegance, class. That's what this boat is all about. So thank you to Ocean Boats for generously inviting us down to tour this beautiful 33 foot barbarous lobster. I'm really taken with this boat. I could see myself enjoying a really, really nice weekend away on this. Um, but leave a comment. If you'd like to uh, have a boat of your own like this, let me know. If you'd like to see something different, let me know as well. But if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. And if you like the videos that we're doing, we do them every week, uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure you notify through that bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that drop. But I think that's it. A fantastic review. What a great boat. And I look forward to seeing you next week on something equally as fantastic. Bye for now.